why don't you tell the jury all the things you did wrong with regards to the David Joseph shooting? I didn't do anything wrong. You sure about that? Positive. This is court deposition video of former Austin police officer Jeffrey Freeman. It's the first time we're hearing from him in his own words about why he says he shot and killed naked unarmed teenager, 17-year-old David Joseph in North Austin on the morning of February 8th. Stop right there, man. Stop right there. Freeman had been in the area after receiving reports of a suspicious person chasing a neighborhood resident. The case led to a huge community response, with many people questioning what Officer Freeman did. And in this four-hour deposition, he answers some of those key questions. You could have waited a minute and a half. Do you agree with that? No. You're but, I, but, but, but I tried to wait, but David Joseph forced my hand and charged at me when I got out of the car. I gave ample distance. He chose to charge at me. So the distance I gave was to stay back, watch him, wait for other units to get there. When they got there, we would handle it accordingly. But David Joseph charged at me, threatened my life and forced me to make a decision. You're telling the jury that David Joseph was going to murder you? Give me a break, sir. He might have. He might have. He might have. He might have. How do you know? Jeff. You don't know. You're not in my darn shoes, are you? You're not. You don't know me. Jeff. You have no idea what he was going to do. You don't know. You weren't there. I was. A key question in the case is why Officer Freeman didn't use some other weapon, why he used his gun, and he spent a lot of time defending that decision. Could I have hurt him really bad with the asp and hit him? Sure. Could he have taken the asp out of my hand and, I, and hit me with it? Absolutely. Could, the taser, could I have used the taser, one prong hits him, the other one doesn't? Could both prongs hit him? Sure. Absolutely. Um, you know, the gun, could I have shot and completely missed? Absolutely. And then he had it? Absolutely. Anything could have happened with any of those. Using a gun, using a taser, using a less lethal. I mean, sure. It seems Anything. like there's a lot of options available to you. Yeah, there's, there's, there's lots. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. But it could go one way, it could go this way. I mean, even, even, even with just hands, who's to say that you can't kill anybody with hands? Who's to say that you can't be killed by hands? We're now about nine months away from that day, and Officer Freeman is still unwavering that David Joseph is the one solely to blame for what happened between them. Do you think that David Joseph was 100% responsible? He made the decisions that day to charge at people, to be a threat to the public. So everything that he did was on him. All I did that day was respond to calls and do my job like I was supposed to do it. That had nothing to do with it, the fact that you shot a naked, unarmed kid. Who charged at me and tried to hurt me and kill me, possibly. Okay. He charged at you yes, he and did. tried to kill you? Yes, you're dang right. Something. He wasn't coming to hug me. I mean, what do you think? What would you do? After sustaining all of these policy violations unanimously, the chain and myself uh, concurring have indefinitely suspended Officer Freeman. Chief Acevedo had an agenda. He decided that uh, in order to meet the agenda with the current political status of what's going on right now in the country, he felt that that's the move that he needed to do, and he fired me based on opinions because of the heat that was on his back from, from everybody else. What Jeffrey Freeman says about that day is really important, and here's why. Next month, he and the city will face off in an arbitration where Freeman is trying to get his job back and return to the street. And sometime in the next few months, the city is also going to have to decide whether to settle a wrongful death lawsuit with the Joseph family or take it to court. We're not going to accept a token settlement as we've done before because it doesn't change things. In an emotional exchange, Freeman does talk about how the shooting has impacted his life. I imagine that it's caused you a great deal of pain and suffering. Yes, it has. I mean, I imagine it's gonna be with you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. I imagine that every day you probably think about this. I wouldn't wish this on anybody, not even my worst enemy.